Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. I forgot we have one more stop on the tour before we can get back out into the next mission, and that's the locker room. Even though we have technically been here before. This here's the Neuron Locker Room. You have a locker too, you know. You can try out all sorts of new hairstyles, clothes, and accessories. Nothing like a little grooming anytime you feel like a change, right? Sometimes even your old pal Lappy likes to change his coat. No peeking. I've got to get running, but show me the new you later. So... That's Neuron HQ in a nutshell. Thanks for sticking with the tour to the very end. As a reward for your dedication, here's your very own Lappy Badge. Wear it with pride, partner. So we get a little something extra for actually finishing that off. Uh, there are stops in the tour that are totally optional. But for doing the whole thing, we get the badge. Which we will get into a little bit later. Uh, for now, I think we have to meet Akira up on the roof. The tour is done. So now it's on to the main objective of the mission. Heading out into Maison Forest. So... Supposed to investigate the latest in a series of missing persons cases. And it's in Maison Forest. So, once we're done with the investigation, I can. Oh, what now? If it's about the cat, forget about it. I told you I already dealt with it. No more cats here. Yep. Okay, come on. Let's get to work. Ready to go? Next stop, Maison Forest. Hey, forget about it. So we have uh, multiple missing persons to investigate. And Akira has to go and be shady and drop this cat off somewhere in the forest. Extremely cool and normal. No, don't worry about it. Very strange. Let's get started. Let's ask around. Just because we're a neuron doesn't mean we get out of good old fashioned detective work. This is only the latest of several disappearances in the area lately, so people are understandably on edge. So our very first, uh, investigation was in the last mission, and all of the investigating that we had to do was confined to one small square patch of land. This one, uh, and there were like four clues total or something. This one is an order of magnitude more complex than that. Uh, there's some kind of strange cat man. That's our very first note. But there's actually quite a bit of evidence to collect for this one. And it's spread out over a much wider area. You're still not likely to miss all that much. Or have too hard of a time piecing it together. But it is nice that... They aren't taking baby steps and adding like, okay, now there's a fifth clue, and the area is a little bit bigger. That would feel maybe uh, a little bit insulting if it was that gradual. And for the most part, this is going to one use all of the skills from the uh, that we learned from the previous investigation, like the eavesdropping. But then also, we're going to use some mechanics that we picked up in the field, in the astral plane. Uh, this dude was looking for a missing drone that crash-landed. 
mounted up here in the alleyway. Couldn't get to it, so we have to use our Legion to recover it, which he, of course, cannot see. So it looked like a poltergeist just popped that thing over. And what really happened is much scarier. Legions are like... Oh my god, they're... They're poltergeists, except really powerful. And now we can see what happened to the drone now that we can inspect it a little bit. See the entry and exit wound, the blast hole, where the drone was heading, and where the blast may have come from. But it looks like it was shot from midair. It was an air-to-air -air attack. So either something else in flight or something else that was just falling off the fire escape. Iris, shut down. So this investigation to start us off is split into a, a couple of smaller ones that really take you all over. Another keyword on top of the Catman, the blast hole. Now of that. So, one of these two has something else. Is it a full-blown disappearance? Nobody knows! So, I think this might have been the one who's going to be useful to us. The chatty woman. It was a beautiful sunset that will be forever etched in my heart and sealed with a tear. She was just contemplating the ephemeral beauty of life. There we go. So, a yellow drone... So we're piecing things together very slowly. Still, look at that progress bar. Only 14%. We would have been like halfway done or more in the first mission. So that's what I like to see. Introduce something and then expand, expand, expand on it. Uh, this mural was painted by actual member of avant-garde collective Parnassus. Paint angels, wings, blackbirds. They're famously reclusive, and this art aficionado would give anything to meet them. Except, because we are cops and we suck, uh, we're gonna have to arrest any Parnassus people we see for vandalism. And that, that truly is some poor shit. But that's part of an optional objective. So we might pursue it. Oh damn it! And then we have something else up here. Actually, oh yeah, this is a whole other floor. I thought this was uh, a different building that I think we're actually heading up to now. Yeah, okay. So we can collect some of the red matter, just sweep that up like it's dust force. And then, these two... Oh, we can't eavesdrop on him yet. I think I might have to talk to him first. Oh, <laughs> just cartwheel over. Not that again. Aw, oh, stop talking about the ghost. People are gonna laugh at you. Because fucking ghosts are somehow the weirdest thing you can believe in in this weird post-apocalyptic cyberpunk universe. I mean, we technically have a poltergeist on a leash. And it's... We're not, like... We're not being coy about using it. We're just using it in front of people. People disappear out of thin air and get spirited away through portals all the time. Ghosts aren't that weird. It's not that deep. <laughs> Like, that's... It's a pretty normal concern. Everyone out here is acting like ghosts would be such a weird thing to have in this universe. I can't get over... I can't get over how stupid that is. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna hop to the next roof. Get a little bit of gray matter. Or, uh, red matter. And pick up some new cosmetics. Sunglasses. And we have no fall damage, so that's not a problem. Let's see. 
Uh, is this marker still glowing because it's an active side quest? Okay, yeah. It glows a little bit more than the other Where points of interest. Oh, yeah, 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 this vendor! This version of Ven! You can just buy a drink if you want to talk to me like a normal person. Oh shit, come on, where's the line? Maybe I have to buy some? It's not like I care what drink you want or anything. Ah! Yeah, they made the vending machine a Sundere. But come back again soon, okay? Okay, now I think we've done a full circle here. Which means there's another alley I have to hit up somewhere. Uh, that I, it's, it was one of the path uh, ways I didn't go down before. We're gonna double check him, because I thought there might be some crows, but I remembered wrong. Uh, I know where two of the Parnassus members are, so that won't be a problem. Oop! I don't think anyone saw that, so I don't know if I will get dinged. If you destroy public property, you do get dinged a little bit. Yeah, this is the alley we didn't go down uh, at the beginning. So there's still a lot more information to be gleaned, like this talk about a red ghost. More specific than regular ghost. And what is the thoughtful little girl? Burning ghost. Ah, that's what she has to say. There's a burning ghost snatching people up. So she was trying to buy a charm to ward it off. Fiery red shape with no legs carry a grown up off. Yeah, people just see this bullshit all the time. Like, it's not that weird. Ghosts aren't that weird in this universe. Ah, yeah, and the malfunctioning robot side quest which I think you actually need to do uh, you get the strange signals uh, and the interference for free once you come up here so I don't see why you wouldn't do this but it might be optional I've never not done this testing and reminding us about the Zendatsu system or this version of the Zandatsu system. So it's good that that's here. That also gives us access to this ladder though. Now that we're done with that. Uh, so we can loop around in a second. And then, once we're done down here, climb up. It wasn't a ghost after all. Shouldn't <laughs> get so spooked so easily. I'm a cop. Okay, up we go. And I believe. Hold on. We need to talk to. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we have completed the circle. So. That's definitely gonna get me dinged. Uh, so. Up we go. And I remember what's up here. It's the little rat bastard child side quest. Actually, no, this isn't even a side quest. This is necessary. Uh, but it's really simple. There are five boys. They know something, but are refusing to cooperate with the ongoing investigation into this very serious matter until we play a game with them. And the game that they want to play is basically figure out which one is telling the truth. So, the idea is four of them are liars, one is telling the truth. It's really, really easy to figure this one out. Just based on what the first few tell you. Yeah. Okay, come on now. Figure out who's telling the truth. Yep, let's begin. I'm the first brother, the fourth brother is a liar. I am the second brother. The fifth brother tells the truth. 
I'm brother number three. We lied before both the first and second brother tell the truth. Yay! I'm the fabulous fourth. The third brother is absolutely lying to you, which is true. Which means that the fourth brother is the one telling the truth. Based on that and what the first two said. Uh, I don't think you need the fifth to figure this out. Oh, also, this is not randomized, so it's always, I, I'm like 99% sure it's not randomized, so it's always going to be the fourth. But it's not a particularly hard riddle anyway. So now they tell us about the door that's actually a hologram. Yeah, it's actually pretty relevant. And it gives us a lead on where to go next. We're still only 85% of the way through this, though. But here's one of the Parnassus uh, graffiti artists. Almost finished with my avant god masterpiece. My work beguiles nature herself. Oh. Hey, come Pros on, did lead us. Oh, yeah, come the chases. On, uh, so we can send the Legion out. Okay, that's what they're going to teach us now. Uh, and the Legion will not kill, but it will stun them long enough for us to bind them and place them uh, in custody. So now that we've caught the artist... We take another step on that side quest, but also this one reveals to us another uh, note for the investigation. Talks about the red door. Okay. I like how the local officer is like, hey, shut up. When he's actually saying things that are relevant to us. Okay, this should be far enough away from civilian ears. So what do we know? Like I said. This is just one of a series of missing persons cases around Maison Forest lately. Aside from people going missing, another thing these cases have in common is an almost total lack of evidence. The most recent victim disappeared last night. That's all we know for sure. Let's put together what the witnesses told us and see where it leads. People around here say they started seeing something strange near the time the disappearances began. What was it? Okay, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell, and check my Twitter and Patreon and Twitch links in the description below. Uh, we will pick this back up next time, and this will serve as a nice little recap of the investigation. Uh, and then next time will be more action-packed. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.